Greetings friends and welcome back to Tyrrell Time with me, Chief Mangosutu Butalazi. It is uh, rounds 15 and 16 of the 2003 season, heading into the finale. I want you to crack open a beer if you've got one, make a cup of tea if the time of day is more appropriate, and settle in for a long one because we are going to be doing a full race for Japan, assuming the game doesn't crash. Right, we're in a bit of an awkward position because we are running out of money. Next year we will have plenty of money, but we don't have no money now. Um, so the question comes, do we try and skimp through, or, or do I take a little loan, a little cheeky loan for 16 races? Um, the problem is, it's 29% interest. So to borrow 11.2 million, we'd pay back 14.5 million. That seems a little unfriendly. Um, hmm. We get more. We get a higher interest rate on savings, but we don't have any money to save. Can't sell any of the team because we'll be fired. Um, either way, we're currently three point. 8 million up year over year on sponsorship funds alone, plus 10 million coming in from Dario Loretti. Uh, what I suggest we do then is we skip testing at this Grand Prix and put our money into um, into setup for Japan, where we're going to be in direct control. Um, actually, no, that's a bad idea, isn't it? Why is that a bad idea? The reason that's a bad idea is the gap to Ferrari is now really small and we could drop down to third in the constructors. Um, I don't like it. I don't like it, but I think we have to take we have to take one final credit. Um, I will take I will actually take it over 32 races. It's not that much more to pay back, but it's a little bit less we have to pay back per Grand Prix. Um, which should help us balance the books, I hope. Uh, this could be a really bad idea. What is F1 if not risk? Okay, so now we can actually do things like build two more cars for next year. Super important. No, no, I'm not doing that. I'll build one between the next rounds. But we've got the money to do it now. Uh, another spare part could be useful, so why don't we do that instead? Now, I could immediately invest this money into the factory. Uh, that would cost us six million of what's in the bank. Um, it might not be a terrible idea. Let's do that. We've got the money, let's invest it. Let's try and do something good with uh, what we have available. Um, okay, in terms of testing, Let's do 150 miles, maybe. 140. No progress, but fine. Okay. Repair our cars hope for more sponsors, um, run at Luxembourg, spend three million quid on a factory upgrade per race, and then um, hope that somehow we balance it out <laughs> over the course of next season. Uh, the cars are as in good a condition as we're going to get them. Um, we can hire more commercial staff and that would be smart. And more design staff. We don't have any room for design staff. But we can improve.
improve the design staff and our mechanics are already badass and full okay so actually the factory upgrade was probably a good idea in terms of news um, nothing great Castrol obviously signed with someone else Stuart and Williams taking Goodyear tires um, yeah that's about it that's about it uh, what's with the traction control system let's hold on to that in case ours fails So, as you've probably noticed, um, the upgrade package for this car uh, has not worked. It has been a very harsy, um, <laughs> a very harsy upgrade package indeed, and it has damaged our form rather badly. That said, um, I think we have a reasonable foundation for next year. Let's get Luxembourg out of the way quickly because nothing good's going to happen. 23 degrees and dry. Oh, a stronger qualifying than we've had recently. It's still a McLaren 1-2 though. Damon Hill leading David Coulthard on the front row. Not much between them really. Uh, Olivier Panis taking third for arrows. Both Minardis out qualifying us again. Marini ahead of Rossett. Um... Johnny Newhouse, P6 in the Ferrari with Shinji Nakano for company. Fisichella puts his Williams P8. Hiroshi Tanaka will be hanging out with him. Just behind us, Pedro Diniz and Mika Hakkinen. 23 degrees and dry also for the Grand Prix. Uh, we might just be able to get ourselves a good result here. You never know. Um, 30, lap 33, I think we will bring in... Mr. Nakano. Now I'm hoping both cars make it to the finish, but you never know. Uh, and lap 34 for Hiroshi Tanaka, who, after we fired him, has actually started to move in the right direction. But we still made the right decision, I feel, um, because it took him way too long to get up to speed. Um, I'm sure he'll get another drive somewhere else. Finally, the good news alarm sounds. And it's a win. <laughs> Another win for Tanaka. Uh, uh, and all over, all over Europe, and possibly wherever other people are watching, coffee now drips between the keys. Hiroshi Tanaka takes a win. Uh, a 132-33588. Um, four tenths ahead of the McLaren of David Coulthard. Damon Hill takes P3 to round out the podium. It's a double points finish for the Ferraris, Newhouse and Frentzen 4-5, and Mika Hakkinen takes the final point. It was brake failure taking out Shinji Nakano, though, which limits our um, limits our success. Uh, he's now only one point clear of teammate Hiroshi Tanaka. Uh, he sits P4 in the Drivers' Championship. And in the Constructors, we are 10 points clear of Ferrari, but well behind McLaren now. Uh, that gap cannot be closed. Obviously a huge loss of money, race over race, but that's kind of to be expected. Um, some of our sponsors have signed with somebody else. Um, we're not going to get that deal done, so let's not worry about that. I'm going to save these Advantage cards because I don't think they do anything at this point. Catcher Solutions, uh, 1.4 million two season deal, not going to get signed now and Magneti Morelli have gone somewhere else yeah so that's that's us done for sponsors we've got our guarantee though on the fuel no guarantee on the tires but we can try um, no guarantee either on the engine guarantee though on the team sponsorship we will spend a bit more on hospitalitage um, and we will invite key partners um, Blondes, uh, Mugen Honda, and Bridgestone, I guess. Um, and we will stop our negotiations. And use that to improve the quality of our hospitality. At least to level two. Okay, in terms of news, 
anything good. Magnetti Morelli signed with Williams in the end. Um, yeah, all the sponsors being hoovered up. Nothing really all that great coming through. In terms of staff, do we have any more? No, we don't. Oh, we can improve our construction department, though. They're already badasses, but why not add? We have a level 3 traction control system, which was not homologated. But that's okay, because we discovered one, which we can now try and copy. That's illegal. They're using an illegal traction control system, so we know we can get them banned for that. Uh, we need one more 2004 spec car. Let's get that done. And then we'll stock up with spare parts for the year ahead. Obviously no new components coming through. Um, no technology upgrades either because we know the tech regs for next year now. Next year's car though should be um, a respectable creation we would hope. Um, we are no longer hiring a wind tunnel. I don't know why I left that ticked. That was very stupid of me. Um, in terms of testing, it's a bit cheaper to test here so why don't we go up to 200 miles. Yep. Okay. Okay, we've got some contracts up at the end of next year that we're going to have to work very hard to resolve. Um, Shinji Nakano also out of contract at the end of next year, so we'll have to do our best to re-sign him. I'm interested to see if he gains any of the other stats year over year. Um, okay, I don't know about you guys, but I think that makes us about ready to move forwards. We just have to repair our cars. Car 3 is completely bollocks now, um, but we don't care because it's going into the museum in a moment. Okay, um, I'm going to have Nakano pushing a little more. Last race of the season, uh, our adopted home Grand Prix, so we want a good result. Drivers uh, continue to receive equal treatment now more than ever. I love this circuit, I really do. And yeah, we will look at traction control on the Ferrari. Okay, and we want to do qualifying and we want to do the Grand Prix. 21 degrees and cloudy heading into qualifying. Everything's all funky dory. Let's see what we can do. Okay, welcome trackside for the first time in this playthrough. Uh, right, what to do? Uh, we'll send. We will send Hiroshi Tanaka out first onto a green track to lay down a baseline. And we can follow him around on our TV screen here. Not that you can see much because of the dodgy camera angles. He. It's also. Um, because it's the first time we've done it this playthrough. It's uh, a case of um, him appearing with the actual Tyrrell livery, although normally the game would render our livery, which was a very cool feature, even though you don't really see much of the cars. I really wish someone would remake this game. I love it so much. So, a nice slow outlap. Both Salvers currently out on track, one of the Arrows and one of the Stuarts as well. Um, and we will get um, Tanaka to make a push in just a moment, hoping that he keeps it on the track. 
round into uh, the final corner complex and push. It'd be important for us to keep an eye on um, It'd be important for us to keep an eye on track conditions. Um, I think that's one of the Williams that's just come out. Actually, no, one of the Ferraris, I think. Tanaka now halfway round um, his first fast lap. Uh, I'm saving the Carnot's laps to uh, the bitter end, really, when the track should be in its best possible condition. Um, I couldn't help but notice there that... Um, Tanaka's car wobbled, um, a really unconvincing wobble because 1998, but um, <laughs> he uh, he definitely looked like he's um, struggling on that lap. I'm guessing there's a lack of grip out there at the moment. Both Jordans uh, also out now. Tanaka takes provisional pole, of course, and um, telling him to slow down, bringing him in. Uh, he's currently... Um, ahead of both the Saubers, uh, though he has been out-qualified so far by Olivier Panis uh, in the Arrows, who's on a 139.369. Panis, though, probably running the soft compound tyre, I would think. Um, I don't think many guys actually run the hard. Uh, Eddie Irvine Stewart also uh, ahead of Tanaka so far. Um, yet to break into the 139s, but early days yet. Um, both Saubers on an in-lap. That should be one of the Ferraris uh, coming up behind. Yes, it is. And he'll be coming around to finish his fast lap. Good thing we've held him up with a bit of traffic. Uh, Johnny Newhouse, though, does take pole position, 139.045. Uh, the Jordans already on their fast lap, too. One of the McLarens is out now as well. That should be Eddie Irvine coming in. 51 minutes left in the qualifying session. These are pretend minutes, uh, of course, but it will be a long episode. So I hope you're settled in. Pedro Diniz uh, goes on to pole position provisionally with a 138.947 Toro Takagi, his teammate, can't match the pace, three tenths behind, only good enough for third. Damon Hill also crosses the line, two minutes, two seconds, uh, only good for P10. The game is struggling a little bit. Uh, one of the Stewarts heading out onto the track now, uh, Eddie Irvine's teammate. Stuart, I forget who that is. Esteban Tuero bringing his Benetton into the box. One of the Minardis also heading out now, and uh, one of the Ferraris as well. Oh no, one of the Williams. Both Williams now heading out. 48 minutes to run. Um, at this point, I'm going to allow Shinji Nakano out and about once this arrows leaves the pit. There we go. Try and avoid getting him stuck in traffic. So, uh, first lap out of the gate for Shinji Nakano. Um, a nice slow lap. Uh, Esteban Tuero on a cool down lap behind us, I think, or a first lap out of the pits. Either way, shouldn't be a problem. Uh, nine laps remaining for Hiroshi Tanaka. Not keen to use those just yet. We'll wait until the last half hour, I think. Um, we are one of the top teams, even though we haven't been performing like it, and that means really we shouldn't be running too much in the early stage of qualifying when the track is suboptimal. Getting ready, though, um, to have Shinji Nakano. Let's make sure we're watching him. Uh, John Fellows puts his arrows P2, uh, pipping Johnny Newhouse uh, by a fraction of a fraction of a second. Uh, Pedro Diniz, though, is still your provisional pole sitter so far, with a great time, really, really strong time. Come 
coming up on the halfway mark of our lap. Ricardo Rosset sticks at P6 for Minardi. Mika Hakkinen, meanwhile, crosses the line P4. Um, there was a puff of smoke there from somebody, either the car in front of us or um, it was Nakano almost losing it, which I think it could be. Round the final corners, onto the back straight, and crosses the line, only good enough for P10. Not good. Tanaka down in 13th, uh, pipped by uh, half a second by Stefan Sarazan in the Stewart. Still ahead of both Saubers though and the McLaren. Let's see what we can do. Fresh tyres and refueled for Hiroshi Tanaka. I might send him out for another run while the track's quiet. We're going to use all our laps, I think. Meanwhile, let's make sure that uh, Nakano has more fuel. I'm going to send him out on scrub tyres just to see if that helps the pace of the um, of the hard compound. Very quiet on, out on track now. First uh, sign of the Prost's braking cover though. And one of the Saubers is on their second run as well. I believe that's Rubens Barrichello just ahead of um, Tanaka. I'm now going to have Tanaka pushing. And he comes out free of traffic, which is good. Um, however, Marini is now out on track as well, um, just ahead of um, a fast lapping Rubens Barrichello. All quiet though, 39 minutes remaining in this session. Uh, once we reach the 30 minute mark, I'll send the car now out on some scrub tyres and see if we can't achieve anything uh, with some tyres that have been through a heat cycle. Sometimes that can help with the hard compound tyres. Uh, I'm just giving Tanaka another run on fresh hards to see if that yields any improvement in his time. Hopefully it does. I mean, our, our qualifying pace has been dire with this this car all year round and it, it was dire with the the cars that came before it as well the Williams though having a strong session uh, currently sat p4 p5 uh, Tanaka now closing the gap to his teammate um, it's not enough though um, because they're still only 10th and 11th splitting the Stewarts um, behind the uh, arrows I'm guessing a lot of these are qualifying on the soft compound, but still not very happy with the showing. For a car that's had as much evolution work go into it as well. I'm still hopeful though that Nakano can bring it home in qualifying. He's not a fast driver, but he has a high level of concentration, which means even though his qualifying laps will be inherently slower, they should be fairly error free. Um, so at least we're getting the best out of him, and hopefully year over year he improves. We have uh, a new pole sitter and a new number two sitter, Alberto Marini, who I keep calling Alessandro Marini, uh, because I keep thinking of Alessandro Zanardi. Alberto Marini, P2 for Minardi, hell of a run for him in the 138. Uh, Johnny Newhouse um, puts his Ferrari on pole position. I'm going to send Tanaka out exactly on the 30 minute mark with Nakano directly behind him. Now the Tyrrells would actually never do this famously because there was a concern that if a yellow flag came out or there was an accident, there was a chance of losing both cars in one incident and Ken Tyrrell would never do it. But please forgive me, uh, deceased spirit of Ken Tyrrell. 
but we are falling down the order and I'm hoping that there's some draft benefit. Coulthard is now your pole sitter though, 138.644, the times are starting to tumble. Um, I'm guessing that the track is starting to improve. Thirty-three minutes to go in this session. Actually, I'm going to put fresh tyres on Nakano's car for this run. Uh, actually, while it's quiet at the end of the pit lane. Let's get both cars out. And we are going to be watching Shinji Nakano um, right on the rear wing of his teammate. Both cars running nose to tail, hoping for some benefit. Um, we really need to get back into the top 10. I won't be happy starting outside the top 10. 12th and 13th is not good enough. Uh, I'm going to have them start pushing earlier in the hopes that that warms the tyres up a little bit. Um, I just saw Nakano nearly lose it though, as soon as I pressed that button. These camera angles are not the most flattering. Both cars pushing hard now, 30 minutes left in the session, and start the clock. Clear track ahead, that's good. Um, a quick rundown though of your top 10, David Coulthard, McLaren 138.644, currently best of uh, the bunch. Uh, Johnny Newhouse for Ferrari 138.795 in P2, he's on another lap at the moment. Um, Alberto Marino, P, uh, Marini, P3 for Minardi, Pedro Diniz, former pole sitter, hasn't been out for a second run yet, but he is um, currently P4. 138.947 and then John Fells the first of the 139s uh, in the Arrows uh, currently pipping out Giancarlo Fisichella's Williams we're about to cross the line uh, in another corner's time let's see if there's any improvement uh, it's not good enough it's not good enough uh, Hiroshi Tanaka only good for 13th, Shinji Nakano up to P11, but still two tenths off the back of Olivier Panis's Jordan uh, arrows. Um, that's not good enough. That's really not good enough. I'm guessing our favoritism of the hard tyres is going to really hurt us here. But we're running low fuel, we're pushing at the right time. Uh, I think this is probably just the best pace we can get out of this car on hard compound tyres at this track in these conditions. Um, still, we will try again at the, the very last minute with uh, both drivers. Okay, both drivers back in. We will refuel Tanaka and we will refuel Nakano. Nakano, I will actually send out again straight away because he's got an extra run in his pocket and it's good to have some on track action for you guys to enjoy. Uh, Pedro Diniz back out in the Jordan for another attempt. Um, he was fast enough for pole before. A uh, bit of a gap now. Um, oh, the game's all bugging out on me. This is what it does. I'm going to actually cut and save the game just in case we have a little accident. Welcome back. Uh, that did fix the blinking, so that's good news. And the game is saved now, so we shouldn't lose all that's gone on. Right, again, I'm going to start Nakano pushing early, try and get some heat into those tyres. Uh, they should be easy to heat anyway, they're very well developed uh, hard compound tyres, but 
this game doesn't seem to like them so much in qualifying. Uh, even though historically you could get some good qualifying times on hard compound tyres here and there. Particularly with the Bridgestones actually as I recall. Okay, over the line to begin uh, another flying lap. This is his second to last chance. And we've now been pushed out of the top 11. Um, who leapt up there? Looks like Frentzen splitting the Williams. Quite a pace disparity between the two Ferrari cars at the moment. And um, we haven't quite figured out what's happened to Damon Hill yet, though he's on another run at the moment and should be crossing the line soon. He's currently dead last on a 2 minute, 2 second and uh, 59 milliseconds. Here he comes, though, across the line to go P2. So he has recovered it. Pedro is though, unable to um, improve at this time. Now it's our turn to cross the line. No improvement. Shinji Nakano, P14. Hiroshi Tanaka, P16. Really not good. Really not good. Let's take a look at um, the track conditions if we can. A bit of wear on car one and car two. Um, tire temperature is okay. Engine's got a little wa little wear on it. Uh, the track though isn't isn't yet quite where we want it to be. I'm going to keep an eye on that. Uh, yeah, I'll be refueling both cars shortly, but this actually is a good chance to skip through these screens and show you how deep the simulation actually goes. Um, that's what we want. You're already pre-fueled on the right tyres, that's good. I'm not sure if the, um, the racing line is going to improve, but we're going to have to play the waiting game now. Uh, four cars out on track currently. Uh, Olivier Panis's Arrows, uh, a Prost, a Sauber, and a Minardi. Oh, and uh, that looks like a Ferrari that's just come out. Heinz Hal Frentzen coming out for presumably his second to last run. And this is all good. The more cars we have out, the better the chances we have now of the track improving to the point that maybe we can snatch a good time at the end. Both Jordans out, both Benettons uh, also out on the track at the moment. And the Prosts joining the field as well. And another Sauber goes in, comes straight back out, so clearly they've been saving up their laps. Good amount of traffic on the track right now, has that improved things at all? No. No, it has not. We are currently 1 and 1.2 seconds off pole position, which is actually less than I would have presumed, but it's still not super um, pleasing. Quite a lot of traffic out. The track doesn't seem to be improving. We have uh, 8 minutes, 8 simulated minutes left to run. Uh, one of the arrows there joining the track. The game still struggling, unfortunately. I'm sorry for all the lagginess. But I'm guessing there's a lot of calculations going on somewhere. Uh, let me cut the video and uh, we'll come back um, when there is about six minutes left. Talk to you soon. Hello and welcome back. The track conditions have improved ever so slightly. Um, 
Pulsitter remains currently uh, David Coulthard, ahead of Alberto Marini, who jumped up to second uh, while we were off camera. Uh, right, it's time to go in just a moment. Again, we're going to send them out nose to tail to Naka first. Pedro Deniz back up into the top three, though. And I'm not telling them to drive slowly. Um, they can go round and warm up their tyres and uh, hopefully the rubber goes up again while we're waiting. This is really the last chance saloon. I'm going to have the drivers pushing sooner as well. Okay, coming up to start the last lap. Not holding out much hope, but if we can get at least one car around the top ten, that would be that would be a vast improvement. Tanaka crosses the line shortly afterwards. Uh, Shinji Nakano. I've probably left a bit too much of a gap between them, but um, I didn't want Nakano being held up either. The main thing is we've avoided traffic, which can be a killer. So, um, oh, brilliant. The rain is starting to fall out of nowhere. Um, this may, well, the track's not wet yet, but this may um, wipe away the rubber. That's gained. Um, obviously, we didn't know it was going to rain. Main thing is keep it on the track, guys. Keep it on the track, please. Coming through to cross the line. And 13th and 15th. That's the best we could manage. Really, really disappointing. Um, but not much we, else we could do, really. I think we ran a fairly good qualifying program. It's just, for whatever reason, 14th and 15th now, um, it just seems that our guys uh, weren't ready. Um, the car doesn't necessarily suit the track. This evolution of the car has been problematic since uh, its inception. Um, Really, it's a shame we can't go back to the B-spec car, which delivered much better results. But here we are with the, the C-spec and uh, 14th and 15th on the grid. Uh, coming from uh, a Grand Prix, we just won. So clearly, we don't understand our car. That's what we've learned today. Waiting for the last guys to um, to wrap up. I think I can... Yeah, pump the time. Yep. And there we go. That's the end of qualifying. David Coulthard is your pole sitter for McLaren. Alberto Marini, P2 for Minardi, two tenths and change behind. Pedro Deniz, very close to P2 in the Jordan. Uh, Damon Hill only manages P4. Nakano leads Tanaka, um, but we are behind one of the Benettons, worryingly. Um, very, very disappointing session, but not really much we could do. Strong rain, 25 degrees. That's bad. That's super, super bad. Um, <clears throat> yeah, what to do here? I'll keep an eye on his tyre wear manually, but I'll try and one-stop him and two-stop Tanaka. Right, the main thing is, please don't get in the way of your teammate. Nakano jumps to P12. 
to an aggressive start. While the game is struggling. But you get to see some of the cars close up at least. Okay, it's time for them both to begin pushing now. Um, yeah, the game is dropped to four frames per second. There's a lot of calculations going on when the uh, the cars are so close together, and unfortunately, even though this is a modern computer, it's really not designed to run this game. <laughs> uh, but there we go. Tanaka now in front of Nakano, who's dropped to P16. Tanaka up to P10. Nakano down P17. Uh, I don't know what's going on with him. That he's dropped right the way down. Uh, he must have come off the track, perhaps. But let's get him pushing again. Oh, accident. Yeah, the uh, front spoiler got broken. Um, that would mean he has he's in need of a front wing change. Please come in. Um, yeah, please come in for a new front wing. Please don't crash it on the way in. That would be that would be good. At least he'll be coming out into clean air. There's a yellow flag now. Oh, he's crashed. He made it to the pits and then crashed. <laughs> well, at least now we only have one car to worry about. Uh, Hiroshi Tanaka, terrible in the rain, currently running P10, just dropped to P11. He's in a fight with a Benetton there, I can see. He tried to get round on the inside, but it nothing doing. Uh, Damon Hill and Pedro Deniz riding off into the distance, both of them very strong wet weather drivers. Okay, coming around to start lap 2 of 51. We've already lost Shinji Nakano. Um, really annoyed about that because he made it to the pits and then just crashed. <laughs> just crashed at this corner. Tanaka stuck behind Esteban Tuero's Benetton, unable to get past. Um... Not super surprising, but um, definitely annoying. He's down to P14 now. P15, P16. This is where his lack of wet weather skill comes in. Starting to lose a little bit of time to the cars in front as well. Um, he's very, very weak in the wet. Very weak. And now he's lost his front wing. He makes it to the pits though. Thank Christ. Uh, that drops him right to the back of the field. We're having a bad, bad time of it. Oh, he goes. New nose fitted. 
no new tyres because we're only three laps in. So I'm going to have him push. Let's see if we can't start to close the gap. Now we've got some clear air ahead of us, but this is not the Japanese Grand Prix that we were hoping for. Not at all. Uh, currently, the Ferrari of Johnny Newhouse is running in the points in P4. Um, that's not enough to steal second place in the constructors from us, but but still, we're not far off being lapped either by Damon Hill and Pedro Diniz. Mick Hackenden up to third in the Williams, another good wet weather driver. Uh, Toro Takagi and Olivier Panis also running in the points currently in the Jordan and the Arrows, respectively. not really gaining time uh, to the Prost in front of us. The Prost's easily the slowest car on the grid this year, lagging behind quite dramatically. Damon Hill crosses the line to start lap 5, increasing his lead over Pedro Diniz. It's a clear 1-2 at the moment. Uh, Mika Hakkinen also pulling away from the cars behind. The, the rain has not lightened off at all. Um, it may rain for the whole Grand Prix. I'm kind of hoping it doesn't. Kind of hoping that it doesn't. We've lost more than just our car. Yeah, there we go. Uh, Rubens Barrichello taken out on lap three. Nakano um, took out with him Emmanuel Collard, Sauber, and Eddie Irvine Stewart. Ralph Schumacher's Benetton had an accident on lap one. So actually quite a lot of attrition in the early Grand Prix. Taking a look at the lap times, we're really lagging behind. The tyres are under temperature on Tanaka's car, so he's also not getting uh, the optimal performance out of them. That's probably down to how he drives as much as anything else. Uh, no longer last, though. Apparently some pit stops have happened. Um, oh no, that's fastest laps. There we go. That's the current running order, and we are definitely last. Um, we are starting to catch Lauren Redon, though, but Jano Trulli seems to have uh, the number of that Prost much, much better uh, in mind. I'm giving the overtake instruction, but we are about to be lapped by Damon Hill on lap 7 of 51. Um, I think we may make it to lap 8 or 9 maybe before actually being lapped, but yeah. Eleven laps to, to our scheduled pit stop, which we'll, we will stick to. Um, because Well, mainly because we have to... Um, refuel the car. Olivier Panis has lost his points paying position. Um, both Ferraris now in, up into the points. Esteban Tuero also in the points for Benetton P6. That could be his first points of the year if memory serves. Um, that's a full lap now in pursuit of uh, Laurent, was it Laurent Redon? It was and we haven't caught him. We haven't even caught up to him. But still, gonna leave, uh, gonna leave things pushing. Let's see what we can do. That that top three uh, gaggle of cars are all running by themselves and desperately clear of the pack. Newhouse uh, also pulling away from his teammates still. We are on lap 8 of 51. One car down. 
uh, one running last, but about to hopefully catch and overtake one of the Prosts to get ourselves off the very back of the grid. We're burning a lot of fuel doing this. But we do now have him in our sights. Um, if you pay attention to that bottom left TV screen, we may even see an overtake. Uh, the chances are probably quite small. He's on the he's on the rear wing. He's on the rear wing, and he takes the pass. And immediately breaks clear. Okay, that's that's at least shows the guy knows how to overtake, um, if not how to drive in the wet. Although that is Damon Hill at the back of your picture, steaming round to lap us. I'm going to have a drink now. If only that was alcoholic. Uh, blue flag out for Lauren Redon. Um, I can turn off the overtake command for Hiroshi Tanaka. We're just going to have to wait now and um, wait for the blue flag to be done because that's about to fly. In fact, I may even tell him to slow off a little bit. Yeah, let the car behind pass because we don't want to get a penalty. And then back up to speed. Pedro Din is also coming to lap us uh, on lap 10. Um, I guess it could be 12 or 13 before he actually catches us. Excuse me. Um, you may know, actually, that we're not a million miles off the pace of um, Damon Hill, but it all adds up over the course of a lap. Uh, John Fellow is into the pits for arrows uh, for a refueling stop. He comes out well clear of us, um, although still essentially the last. We're going to have to let Pedro de Niz by very, very shortly. Wait till the blue flag actually shows. Seven laps till we are back in the pits. Damon Hill almost losing it there in the wet. Didn't, however. No blue flag showing at the moment. But it is about to. Damon Hill goes through to start lap 12 of the Japanese Grand Prix. I'm going to tell my car to ease off now and let that Jordan through because we really don't want to get a stop go penalty. Come on, let him through, you gibbon. There we go. Back up to speed, please. Mika Hakkinen now coming to lap Lauren Redon behind us. We've opened up a hell of a gap, but we just really aren't gaining on Yarno Trulli. Um, I suspect this could be where we finish the Grand Prix, really. Um, Tanaka just cannot hack it in wet weather conditions. Now, neither could Loretti if he was here, but at least he came with 10 million quid. Still, still, let's see if there's anything interesting going on around. The, the Ferraris seem to be locked in something of a battle. Um, Frentzen finally catching up to Newhouse rather than Newhouse falling back into his grasp. Um, David Coulthard is um, languishing down there as well. Not quite so strong in, in the wet weather conditions. Damon Hill now has lapped John Fellows ahead of us. Um, we're not gaining on him either, really. But the Arrows is a very, very good car. It's been performing very well the last few seasons, generally. Um, but that's a team that seems to be on the up and up. 
your current points scorers though if the race were to finish now would be Damon Hill uh, race winner Pedro Diniz P2 Mika Hakkinen in the Williams P3 Frenson and Johnny Newhouse P4 and P5 and the final point going to McLaren's David Coulthard um, given that the weather doesn't seem to be easing off this may actually be where we where we finish uh, four laps left um, before our pit stop the first of two. Oh, Jano Trulli has been in the pits let's see if we can't get past him No, nope, not yet, not yet. There we go. We have made it past uh, Jano Trulli, who's now going to get blue flagged, hopefully, by Mika Hakkinen, um, which a lot of pit stops happening. Johnny Newhouse into the pits now. Yeah, that Williams has come through. Um, and we're building a gap on the Prost, which is good. Let's just let that Williams by. Yep, by he goes. Don't let the Prost through though. And we come through for lap 15 or 14 for us. We are low on fuel because we've been pushing. Uh, let's change our pit strategy then. No, don't put slicks on. Rain tires. <clears throat> so coming in a few laps early, um, but we have been burning a lot of fuel. Into the pits we go, that allows Jano Trulli back through um, ahead of us. Be quite a long fuel stop, unfortunately. Hopefully, we come out before Lauren Redon, but I don't think. Oh, maybe we do. No, we don't. So, back down to P17, but we are on the tail of Redon now on fresh tyres. Uh, David Coulthard coming up to lap us, unfortunately. I was hoping to have something more exciting to show you than a back of the grid battle, but it just seems all the luck has gone to other people at the end of this season. Finally passed uh, Lauren Redon, though. And we can start trying to make some headway into Yano Trulli, but I don't think we'll catch him again before he stops. We are now two laps down. Coming around to start lap 16. Uh, race leaders are on lap 17. Coming up to start lap 18. Damon Hill putting on a masterclass performance here. Uh, Pedro Diniz also holding on to his place. Uh, the Ferraris lost out in the pit stops, it seems, but it's still all to play for for them. Definitely looking on course for a double points finish. David Coulthard now coming up on Lauren Redon. Yeah, 
Just waiting to see that blue flag now for Hiroshi Tanaka. And we'll let the car behind through. There's the blue flag, come on, let him through. There we go. Damon Hill and Pedro Diniz have opened up quite a lead over Mika Hakkinen, who comes in now for his uh, refuel and tyre stop. Laura Rodan back into the pits on lap 19. Um, that means uh, he'll fall even further behind us. Shouldn't be a, a worry for us now then. Uh, also one of the Benettons into the pits there, Esteban Tuero. Let's see what condition the car's in. We have 14 laps remaining of fuel. The tyres are still too cold. The car is getting worn uh, rather badly. So let's sort our pit strategy out. That would mean coming in lap 32. Let's come in lap 30 and add 21. race fuel okay because we're miles behind you on a trolley what I'm going to do is allow the race to um, to skip forward a little bit um, probably off camera actually um, but let's see. I mean, we're coming up on the halfway mark, actually. Maybe it's not so bad. But there's really not a lot to talk about because the 